Huge shakeup at the RNC. DT's team prepares to axe more than 60 staffers. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if you guys have not heard, uh, Ronald McDonald just had a clown just had a quiet exit okay she's stepping away because no one's donating to the rnc because she's trash no idea why dt kept endorsing her uh, uh what harmy dylan would have been way better mike lindell would have been a whole lot better but no he kept endorsing ronald mcdonald for some reason yeah that's why you got no money in the rnc buddy hate to tell you that there's been a huge shakeup at the RNC as DT's team swiftly moved in to fire dozens of staffers after Ronald McDonald stepped down. Ronald McDonald, Ronald, Ronnie McDonald, by the way, the, the niece of um, um, Mitt Romney, stepped down as RNC chairwoman last week after losing several elections in the last seven years. She served as a leader. Michael Watley, the chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party, was elected as chair of the RNC. And not just that, Laura Trump, his daughter-in-law, was elected as co-chair. Look at that. Yeah. So this, this Trump dynasty, okay, this MAGA movement, is going to go far beyond the end of his second term in 2028. Okay, because we're taking control of the RNC. We're slowly weeding out the rhinos, okay? A lot of the previous rhinos are now turning a new leaf. For example, Nancy Mace, who was not told of the dangers of the poke and now has health issues. Okay. So she has turned as well. According to political, more than 60 RNC staffers will be axed. Good. I'm sure they'll find a whole lot more to get rid of. Anyways, good stuff out there. Good stuff. Thank you for cleaning up that at least our side of the aisle. Holy crap, man. We're, we're not even done. We got a long ways to go to clean that shit out.